Hello, welcome to Camp Success Online Dimensional Analysis for RNSG 1523-1462. This is just a brief introduction to dim dimensional analysis. You will receive a more detailed instruction over dimensional analysis when your RNSG classes begin. To be successful in working these problems, please have on hand your instruction sheet for dosage calculations, your equivalence table, and your key pharmacology textbook. Today I'm going to be working out the first two problems from your list of 10 practice problems which are on Blackboard online. The first problem that, the, that we are going to work is number one, and the label shows us that we have hydrodiuryl, and there is 100 tablets of hydrodiuryl in this bottle, and each tablet is equal to 50 milligrams. So each one tablet is 50 milligrams. The physician has ordered hydrodiuryl 75 milligrams, PO, which is by mouth, BID, which is twice a day. In setting up the problems for dimensional analysis, you set up the first fraction according to what is on your medication label. The two problems that we are working today are called one-step problems. You will not have to refer to your equivalent table for these problems. For this problem, again, we, we will refer to the medication label. The numerator in the beginning fraction will usually be in either tablets, capsules, or milliliters. The numerator in your beginning fraction will be what your answer will end in. In this case, your answer is going to be in tablets. We'll set up our beginning fraction. Our numerator will be one tablet over 50 milligrams. And we have 50 milligrams in the denominator of our beginning fraction. And so we are going to have milligrams in the numerator of our second fraction. The numerator of our second fraction is going to be 75 milligrams, which is what our physician has ordered. And that will just be over one. With the dimensional analysis, you cancel out like terms. And the term that is not canceled out is what your answer ends in. So our milligrams cancel out, and so the only thing we have left is tablets. So we know our answer will be in tablets. Notice that these will reduce down. 25 will go into 52 times. 25 will go into 75 three times. So then we just have to multiply across our numerator one times three is three. And multiply across our denominator, two times one is two. And then please use your calculator to divide these out to avoid making a mistake. Three divided by two equals 1.5. This will come to 1.5 tablets. When working with tablets, your answer can either be in half or whole. So you can administer 1.5 of a tablet. Please refer to your instruction sheet for dosage calculation for other rounding rules, which you will be using in other dimensional analysis problems. Next, we are going to work problem number two. In problem number two, our medication label shows that we have Mevacor, 
In this bottle of pills, there are 60 tablets. And each one tablet is equal to 10 milligrams. Our physician has ordered Mevacor 5 milligrams PO, which is by mouth, QID, which is four times a day. So again, in setting up this problem, in our beginning fraction, we are going to work with is on the medication label. From looking at the medication label, you know that the numerator of the beginning fraction is going to be in tablets, and our answer will be in tablets. So our first fraction will be one tablet over 10 milligrams. And we have milligrams in the denominator of our beginning fraction. So we will have milligrams in the numerator of our second fraction. And the number that we will be working with there is five milligrams which is what our physician has ordered. And that will just be over one. So again, we are going to cancel out like terms. Our milligrams will cancel out. And then we are left with tablets. So we know that our answer will be in tablets. Also notice again that these will reduce down. Five will go into five one time. Five will go into 10 two times. Then we need to multiply across the numerator. One times one equals one. Two times one equals two. We do not want our answer to end in a fraction. We want it to end in a decimal. Please use your calculator to divide this out to avoid making mistakes in the future. So I'm going to have one divided by 2, which equals 0 0.5, and that would be 0 0.5 tablets. Remember your rounding rules for tablets. You can have a half of a tablet or a whole of a tablet. So we can give 0 0.5 tablets. Also, please remember to refer to your instruction sheet for dosage calculations, for all rounding rules, and for other rules that you need to use in working out dimensional analysis practice problems.